ought to be coming on now. Let's stand together and sing a little chorus that says, Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Don't give in. God is still on the throne. Don't give up. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Don't give in. God is still on the throne. Don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Don't give up. Remember you're another. Hello. Take a moment, fellowship with somebody. Give our visitors a good warm welcome tonight. time of uh, hopefully you've already had a good time of fellowship and at least shook uh, three or four hands but we're going to be blessed with music tonight music that's going to uplift our savior jesus christ colossians says let the word of christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing with grace in our hearts unto the lord so that's what we're going to do tonight these are all people that are faithful members here at Yellow River Baptist Church. And uh, they're not going to be performing. What they're going to be doing is presenting music that will glorify Jesus Christ. We want to encourage your heart tonight. If you brought in a burden, boy, you just put a smile on your face and let our Heavenly Father take care of that tonight for you. But we want you to enjoy the music. You're going to see a lot of different things here. And I'm going to open with a word of prayer. Then we're going to have our ensemble come up and... Uh, uh, we have a couple of different ensembles here at the church uh, put together by Dr. Susan Anderson, our choir director, and they're going to start things off. And then we're going to get three old guys up here with me, a younger guy, and we're going to sing a quartet song for you. <laughs> All right. And we're going to have fun in the house of the Lord tonight. If you're glad you're here, say amen, will you? Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Let's have a word of prayer. Our Father, I am so thankful, Lord that you love us. And Lord, that means so much to all of us, Father. Your arms are outstretched. 
And Lord, we thank you for your presence here tonight. Lord, we desire more than anything that you be uplifted and glorified tonight. Lord, I thank you for these uh, wonderful people here that are members here so faithful at Yellow River Baptist Church that used the uh, talents and the gifts that you blessed them with to honor you. So, Lord, I pray tonight that for every person that's here, Lord, you know what the greatest need in each heart and each life is. Lord, I pray that we would sit back and enjoy uh, worshiping together you through song tonight. We'd allow the words of these uh, wonderful songs to speak to hearts. And, Father, we would leave here all saying it has been good tonight to be in the house of the Lord. So, Father, we give this service to you. We thank you that we could be here tonight, for it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. You may be seated. exclusive contract with these girls too. I'm trying to figure out how come I put us after them. <laughs> what, that's what I wanted. That know. thought ran through my mind sitting over there. Where, where's Calvin? Oh, there he is. All right. right here. I, 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 I. Well, we worked about 14 years on this song. We, we're trying to get it down. We've changed personnel many, many times during, over the years, but we got big Calvin in here singing with us tonight on A Little Talk with Jesus. I 
I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It made my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. And sir, by and by, feel a little prayer will turn. Then you'll know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. I may have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears, but Jesus is a friend who watches day. go to him in prayer. He knows my every care. And just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. Answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn in, then you'll know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now I want you to hear what it sounds like after he got a steroid shot. <laughs> All right, sing it. You ready, Dan? Now let us. Have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry and answer by and When you feel a little prayer, then you'll know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. What do you think about that? Boy can sing bass. The Lord blessed us, I'm telling you, bless us in a lot of ways, but many years ago now, uh, I had a phone call one night from a preacher who said, there's a couple moving from Phoenix, Arizona, they're coming to your town and you need to get them in your church. The husband is a preacher, former pastor, and his wife is a singing machine. Well, here she is, and she's been singing. We got her in the first week, I think they're in town, or second, maybe. And she's been here ever since, blessing our heart. And we want to sing an old song. We do it a lot. I remember the day. <clears throat> Cindy French. God bless you. I was burdened down with sin. No happiness was found within. I never knew the meaning. Of joy down in my soul oh, oh, When at last I finally felt Contentment filled my soul like I never felt Heaven came down, there was glory all around When you saved my soul All of heaven came down. All of heaven came down. I was happy and free. I was happy and free. Glory filled my soul. For I knew the Lord had made me whole. I 
I shall never forget the day when the Lord saved me. Remember that day? What a blessed day it was. Thank God for it. Now a life of peacefulness deep within my heart and mind since the day that Jesus took my sins away. Heaven, I will go to spend the endless ages while they ever roll, praising His name for the glorious day that He saved my soul. I remember the day, I remember the day when the Lord saved me. When the Lord saved me, all of heaven came down. All of heaven came down. I was happy and free. The Lord filled my soul. For I knew the Lord had made me whole. I shall never forget the day when the Lord saved me. I remember the day. I remember the day when the Lord When the Lord saved me. All of heaven came down. All of heaven came down. Lord fill my soul, for I knew the Lord had made me whole. I shall never forget the day when the Lord saved me. This young lady coming to sing tonight is not a regular soloist at our church. But I lead the singing, and I hear her singing down there, and it's a beautiful voice, and I ask her to share a song with you tonight, Joanne Morgan. A country where no twilight shadows deep.
Thanks to all of you. Band, y'all just start. I'll pick in there somewhere. Y'all just, I'll catch up to you. No, in the band doing a great job tonight? Yeah, they are. Doing fantastic. Glad to have them here. Ushers, you gentlemen, come on. We're going to take the offering here in just a moment. Visitors, I again, I want to thank you for being here tonight. We appreciate so very much you sharing and enjoying this evening with us tonight. I also want to be sure that I invite everyone the entire month of September. Well, actually, it's going to begin on se uh, the 8th of September. Pastor and I will be doing a series on all of the relationships within a home. And so uh, he'll be doing four of those messages. I'll be doing four. And we will have eight uh, on building the home God's way. Because the truth of the matter is God is the architect of the home. He is the architect of the family established all the way back in the Garden of Eden. And you can try it another way but you will not prove to be successful until we do it his way. And so we are looking forward to that series. I know Pastor is. I am. We're going to have some cards for you to pass out to family and friends. Uh, next week, those should be here. Be doing some things in the newspaper and all for it. But we encourage you, be sure that you are here for that series. We are looking forward to it. Brother Chapman, lead us in prayer for the offering, sir. That's absolutely beautiful. Girls and ladies trio, the girls trio come up here. I tell you, music is a very special thing when you think about it. I was thinking about when David was bringing the ark back into Jerusalem and bringing it into the temple. They've been gone for so many years, and the ministers, the singers, begin to sing and lift up praises. And before you know it, the glory of the Lord was so strong in the temple. That was church that day. That's all they could do. They couldn't minister or do anything else. And music has a soothing thing 
we've all been in situations in our life to where we're hurting, things may be happening to where we're not quite sure why. We pray, we're really seeking the face and the will of God, but it seems like at times you could get in your car in the midst of all of that and have good Christian music playing, and it will minister to your soul, it will encourage you, it will give you some thoughts out of Scripture, and it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And uh, for you visitors here, it's easy, these, this is kind of what we get every Sunday here. Uh, so if, you, if you're in a place that doesn't have good music and uh, you, you need to get some, you need to come over here. You'll get good music, and, and after one sermon, I'll run you off. So <laughs> I'll do my best to preach real hard, but uh, 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 we don't want to pull anyone away from your church. But uh, we do appreciate the gifts that our folks have. And the one thing about it, it's good when you have outside groups and things come in, but I know each family that's up here and will be up here singing, I know something about their life. Uh, these three girls essentially grew up in this church. They've known each other most all of their life, Joy and Julie. Uh, they, are, uh, uh, they, they, they are youth ministers for our elementary uh, age group. But the folks up here in this stage, we know something about their life. You folks as our members see them here every Sunday, worshiping here and serving and using their gifts and talents. And I think for me that's something special. We can all be ministered to when outside folks come in, but I don't know where they're at the night before and where they're going the next day. Uh, I know where these folks have been and where they're going, and I so much appreciate it. These are uh, three of our sweet girls, two of my daughters, and uh, one of their best friends in the world, Julie Moore. Uh, they sang for us a couple of months ago for the first time and said, you guys have to sing again tonight. So they're going to do a beautiful song with a wonderful message called Wandering Heart.
is beautiful. Cindy, I want you to come back. I kid around with Cindy a lot, and uh, but she never sings a song that doesn't bless my heart in some way or the other. And God bless you. Are you going to take my microphone? All right. God rides on the water and he rides on the flood. There's no power from hell that's gonna stop God's wings of love. I feel the winds of mercy and the rain from above. God rides on wings of love. Oh, when you cry every night over things that aren't right, all around. You just give it a shout and those walls of doubt will come down. You see, God's not limited to man's degree and he's not afraid of the armies you see. Just turn around, stand your ground. You're gonna be free. God rides on the water and he rides on the flood. There's no power from hell that's going to stop God's wings of love. I feel the winds of mercy and the rain from above. God rides on wings of love, wings of love. Oh, when your box against the wall and you try to stand tall in faith. Been there when you can't go under and you can't go around. So you gotta wait And even when you don't understand We're still in the palm of his hand So just wait He's never late He's just working his plan God rides on the water And he rides on the flood There's no power from hell That's gonna stop God's wings of love I feel the winds of mercy, mercy Cindy. Dr. Anderson, Susan does such a wonderful job with our choir and with the ensemble and that small group that she had up there just a moment ago. These folks sing and a beautiful song they're getting ready to do. It says, I will remember. This song is a real blessing. It's a little course you could sing during the day yourself, but right now somebody wants my microphone.
these signs and wonders, you've shown your power. With precious blood, you've shown us your grace. You've been our helper, our liberator, the giver of life with no end. We will God is good as He is the faithful one. Hallelujah. song and the way it was sung it was beautiful i want you just to stand and stretch your legs for a second and i'm going to put one guy on the spot because as i'm listening to that song and the message about we will remember and not forget about the praises and the things you've done for us brother joe french come up here we've we've had a number of things in this body of christ that we have prayed for and we have seen god work in miraculous ways here in this church and i hope for you visitors you're seeing the same thing in your church. I really pray for all the other evangelical churches and the men of God standing behind pulpits. And we are so thankful because we're a church that believes in prayer. Uh, Jesus said first and foremost, before anything else, his house was going to be a house of prayer. We've had things over the last number, many years, but uh, in recent days too, to where we have seen God move and do things that quite honestly, as the pastor, I wasn't quite sure he could do them. And I'm looking at another guy who spent a good eight or nine years pastoring a church, too. But Joe had something take place. And Joe, I want you to share with these folks, give a word of testimony, what was taking place and what happened and what's happening today, brother. Thank you, Pastor. It's okay if you cry. (laughs) 
prayer is an amazing thing. I'm sitting here, I just, um, I can't get over what God's doing. I know that a lot of folks has needs and we all take it to prayer. Sometimes we get an answer and sometimes we don't. And this was one of those times, Pastor, as you know, as uh, we talked a lot. This was one of those times that I just didn't think God was going to come through, at least the way that I wanted him to. But about, uh, it's been over a year or so ago now, on November 11th, or for, excuse me, November 1st of 2011, after 34 plus years, um, they came told me and told me I wasn't going to have a job anymore. And I had, those of you that know me, I pour my heart and soul into things. And I had my heart and soul into that company. And I, I just, I didn't know which way I was going to go. I, was, I felt I was going to lose the house. I'd lose... Um, everything that we've had, everything that we worked for. And all of a sudden, I didn't know which way to turn. And what Pastor was saying a few minutes ago is that sometimes when you're in your car and you're all alone, sometimes that's the best time, Brother Joe. That's a time when God can really speak to you. And God spoke to me so many times when I was by myself and just listening to music. And I would hear things that, that people would be singing, and I, it would go, that's what I need. Brother Denny, that's what I need for today. And I never will forget, on a Sunday night, about three weeks before the answer came, I, I think I preached that night. And I, I try to come to church, and I try to come to church with a smile, and, and try to, to, to be, I want to be a blessing I've got the greatest Sunday school class in the world with the sweetest bunch of kids you've ever met from the time I went in there almost 17 years ago until now. And I love my class. And I just, I, I was just uh, preaching that night, and, and God was just real for me then. And Pastor decided that we needed to pray. And Brother Jerry, I had no doubts that that night when we prayed, that God was going to answer my prayer until I walked out the door. But that's the way it is. And that's the way God works. But it was just a few weeks later, and I was in Richmond, Virginia, and just continuing to try to do my job. And I got a call from uh, my boss, and he said, Joe, I need to let you know something about your job. And I thought, my heart just sank. And uh, he said, you're a good man. And he said, you don't, I don't want you to have to worry any longer, but you have a job. Amen. And I about broke down on him there. And I started praising God. And I don't know what his religion is, and I don't know what he believes, but he knows what I believe. <laughs> and I started giving God the glory. And I wanted to call my wife and couldn't get hold of her, but the first one I called after it was this man right here. And I thought he was going to have a conniption fit. And if y'all ever been in Kentucky, you'll know what a conniption fit is. But I thought he was going to have a conniption fit in his car. And it, he started shouting, and I started crying and bawling. It was just so good. But now I'm so busy, I, I, don't, know what, I don't know what I'm doing. And you know what? Those same people that thought after 34 years that I couldn't do the job that I had been doing for the last 20 years, they now think I'm the best thing since sliced bread. And I was in corporate last week. That's amazing. That's amazing to me. And um, I'll just say one more thing, because y'all didn't come to hear me tonight. You come to hear the singing and such. But I appreciate Miss Barbara Roebuck so much. I talk about this sometimes, because I told God, I said, God, you do something good for me here, and I will never, ever let people forget it. And then I got worried about people's going to get tired of hearing you talk about this. Miss Barbara got me back there one day, and she says, Joe, P. 
people never get tired of hearing what God does. And neither do I. God bless you all. I want you to be seated. Jerry and Kathy and uh, Susan can come, but you know the word of God at one point in time, a man there needs to hear something from our Lord. And he says, Lord, can you just kind of help my unbelief? And I can tell you that's kind of what we were going through for quite a while. And when Joe called me that day, I just thought, praise God. You know, it's time to shout a little bit and give him the glory. But I wanted Joe to share that because of that song, We Will Remember. I never want you to forget. I want you to keep track when the Lord blesses you, when he answers your prayers. But for those that are here and you're waiting for your answer, don't get discouraged. We sang, don't give up on the brink of a miracle. Keep going to the throne of grace because we have hosts of people right here tonight who have had the same experience that Joe did. And I think it's a wonderful thing. I, I want you to listen to a one. Are you going to sing, I will serve thee? Or, Yeah. I, come on up. I want you guys to sing, and then I'll get the girls up here. But uh, I love these older songs, and this is a wonderful song. I've got Denny's mic. <laughs> uh, 
I love that song, I Will Serve Thee Because I Love Thee, I tell you. I hope, if you enjoyed, your heart feel a little bit better right now with the things you've heard tonight and the music. I, I, I hope it is. It's hard not as a pastor and as a member and as a friend, you have to fight that battle with pride, and I know Proverbs 6 tells us that we have to be wary of that. But in a different way, I'm so proud to be part of this church and have these dear friends. And I look around and people I have known for a long, long time, and we serve together. Our kids have grown up together. Uh, we've shared some tremendous times together. We've comforted each other. And it is so good when we have that here to think about what's going to happen in heaven. It's just going to be a wonderful wonderful time. The old song says, won't it be wonderful there? I think it's just kind of a, just a scratch and a glimpse of what we have to look forward to. I don't know, it's been a long time since we sang this song, uh, but uh, it says, this is just what heaven means to me. Bring my children home. It is an old song. <clears throat> Give me a little bit more down here, Doc, will you please? Let's see if I know the words to this one. <laughs> first came to Yellow River right after the waters receded from the face of the earth. Uh, the first Sunday or two, they said, we ain't never had no singing preacher. And uh, I said, well, you got one now. Now they got two. 
I'm a part-time singing preacher, and he's a full-time singing preacher. Thank you for being here tonight. This is an old camp meeting song. I mean, uh, it goes way back. And uh, we'll see what we can do with it. It's called The Old Ship of Zion. I was standing on the banks of the river saw an old ship that was sailing. Is that the old ship of Zion I see? At the stern of the ship was the captain. I could hear as he called out my name. Get on board, it's the old ship of Zion. It will never pass this way again. Its hole was bent and was battered From the storms of life I could see Waves were rough, but that old ship it was sailing is that the old ship of zion i see as i stand on board i believe the key to what a day that will be? Uh, what, a day what a day that will be. What do you think? I'm sure you folks know this song. There's coming a day when no heartache shall come, no more clouds in the sky, no more tears to them the eye. Yeah, let's do the, yeah, let's do the chorus. Okay. We're going to sing the chorus of that. And uh, so I want you to lift your voice. Follow Brother Jerry. We sang this chorus. Ooh, wait a minute. What? 
I'm old, I'm old, miss. And what a day it will be Oh, in my Jesus I shall see And I look upon his face The one who saved me by his grace When he takes me by the hand And leads me through the promised land What a day, glorious day that will be. I appreciate you being here tonight. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope your heart's been blessed. We'll have another one of these. Trust me, we'll let everyone know about it. Uh, but I want you to have a, a good, safe week. Uh, Brother Mark wanted me to remind our folks that next Sunday night, we're going to have a missionary, uh, unusual ministry. His name is Travis McCullough, and he's a pilot. And uh, he works with a group of missionaries in Alaska, taking missionaries to the field and supplies and all of those things. Wonderful, godly man. He's going to be here presenting his ministry to us this coming Sunday night. If you'd like to hear Travis and meet him, you be here and uh, be part of that. But uh, let's have a word of prayer and we'll be dismissed. Our Father, I am so thankful, Lord, for your love again for us. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity we've had tonight to lift up praise to you. And, Lord, I thank you for all of the people here tonight that have uh, been so faithful to use their gifts and talents for you. Lord, not just for tonight, but, Lord, for most of their entire life. And I'm so grateful for that. Lord, you know the needs of every heart of every person that's here tonight. So, Father, I ask and pray now for those that are here, Lord. You know what they are. I would just uh, plead with you, Father, as we come boldly to you that, Lord, you can answer prayer tonight for folks that are in desperate need. Father, you can give direction for decisions that people need to make in their life. But, Father, I pray that as a result tonight, we are all drawn closer to you. So, Lord, I thank you for the visitors that are here tonight. Lord, I pray your blessings upon them. But take us from this place, Lord, and I would ask and pray that next Sunday you'll bring us right back here and we'll give you the praise and the honor. For it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. You're dismissed.